Good morning, Divagant here for another tutorial. I'm going to do this a quick one. I'm going to make it about advanced functions with texture. This is the basics of texturing and a bit of advanced stuff on transparency. Well, I'm going to start by showing the basic functions you can do with a texture. I'm going to, for example, this one. I'm going to make a block out of it. Uh, smaller the grid. Okay. As you can see, the textures. I, only, I really only want this side, but the textures isn't. It has nothing to do with it. it we wanted to fit the the um, rectangle, but it doesn't. So what do we do? To edit the texture, we can do two things. Select the whole texture and go to Texture Edit, which selects all the textures in the block. We can just choose the texture we want, and notice now it only chooses texture, that texture, and if I edit it, it only changes this one. In this case, we want to fit it with this tool right here. In the Texture Edit properties, we can, we can change scale, Shift the image which is doing this. Good to understand. Rotate. When you we change rotation, we also we also change fitting. Don't forget about that. If we want a clean fit, we set rotation to zero. Change the texture. Group. Change the texture itself. Apply, we really don't need the uh, This replace tool, if we click replace and choose another one, it replaces every texture, every, every block with this texture, with the, te the texture we choose. Well, let's leave this one right here. Also, another important one, this is center. In this case, it centers the image. But we also we already have its fitted with center a fit is a fit. Um, these two these two tools, this is apply current texture. For example, making a block out of this. Going to choose another one now and this one. For example, I want to apply this texture on this block. We choose the block and apply the texture right here. This third tool is a decal. Think of it as a graffiti maker. But for this tool, we need an, uh, a certain kind of texture, which is a decal. I'm going to try to find another one. Uh, around here should be one. Decals. We have this texture as default on our swipe one. Okay, I'm going to choose a random decal which can be easily spotted by having lots of white. This white becomes transparent. For example, I'm going to Graffiti Storage Area 2. We choose the Apply Decals and just Graffiti the wall. Simple as that. Graffiti, 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 Graffiti. Simple. You can see it does not create textures, but yes, very thin images. If we lose if we look closely enough, we have here the line for the wall, and this is a very thin object. Also, if you select it, which is very hard at first, trust me, it's very hard to choose the decal just like that. If you go to its properties, we can ch simply change the texture. Also, notice that decals have this bracket. First, like the trans blue transparent images, solid transparent images, also have. In this case, they are blue. For decals, they are white. Now, for advanced transparency, going to show you again how to make a solid transparency. This is these textures with the blue stuff. How to make the blue transparent? We have to turn it to an object first. A wall. Um, even a letter can be transparent. No, a letter can be trans a letter is transparent by itself, and you have to make something that looks like a letter. 
I'll send it that later. Let's just make it a wall, change it to solid, and set the transparency to 255. This is full solid transparent. Now I'm going to show you how to make, for example, mm, not less, more random. Sand. Half transparent sand. Let's make another block. I'm going to make it a wall as well. Notice you can't make a texture transparent. You have to make an object transparent. It's different. You can't just make one side of the block to be transparent. You have to set it them all. But for example, in this block, if only this face had this blue stuff and the other didn't, only this, this face on the blue stuff would become transparent. The rest would not. Well, in this case, we want to make it the texture become half transparent. Simple as that. Texture 100 because it's more or less half to 155. Notice that solid and texturing transparency is different on FX amount. Don't ask me why. On solid 255 is full transparent, one is not transparent. In texture mode it's upside down. 255 is not transparent, one is fully transparent. Okay, this is settled. I was talking about letters a bit ago. I'm going to explain to you uh, why letters are transparent. I'm going to make a letter on this side. I'm going to set it to letter. I think all of you know what the letter is. Nope. Letter. Okay, I'm going to make another texture behind so you can see when we compile this the letter becomes transparent it works as a, as a letter, but, it, but it's transparent and you'll be able to see what's behind it. Well, I think that's all. Let's compile our map. Let's test it. Okay, here we got our fitted image right here, the other faces aren't fit, here the block we changed the texture, here the graffiti stuff, the decals, notice it becomes orange, I think it depends from decal to decal, I never really found out because I didn't really care, but now that I think of it, some decals become red or green and some become orange or yellow, I don't know, maybe if you... <laughs> work enough with it, you can find out. Uh, here, the letter. Notice the letter became transparent. It works as a letter, but you can't see the letter. You can only see what's behind it. Here, the blue stuff becomes fully transparent, and here, half transparent sand. Also notice that in transparency, you can only see the faces that are faced to you. You cannot see the faces that are on the other side. For example, if the face on the other side of this object, um, on this object, this face is solid, the face facing us. If the face on the other side was not uh, transparent, it had, it had not that blue stuff, we could still see through it because it's on the other side. But, well, I think that's all for today. Uh, I'm Divagant. Thank you all the followers, the guys who asking stuff. I'll try to keep up with the videos. Text to all a DC fan. Happy birthday, Anthony. Happy, really delayed happy birthday. But, okay, bye guys.